Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and draw, I'll put the scene here. First thing that I do when, I, when I'm looking at this is I will go ahead and put marks for myself where the middle of the page is. I'm going to take the middle points on the sides here. I'm going to take the middle points here as well. And these will help me um, avoid you know, playing in the center of the picture, which, um, which I don't want to do. It, they also help me in terms of understanding where I want to put my horizon line or my um, shoreline. And I'm just going to take a quarter, um, quarter look here and then take a quarter of that. And that will give me sort of a location that is interesting to put the um, horizon line on. So I'm going to go ahead and put that now. So what I did is I, I, I started off with, with a point here that was too high. So I went back to the quarter point, which is normally where I like to put my horizon is at the quarter point of, of, of the painting, meaning quarter um, this way. Um, so it's, it's not a third, it's, it's half the half, half the half. So it's right there. Um, so that's where I'm going to start. That's going to be my furthest hill back here. Let's go ahead and put that in. And um, actually, I want to start with with the with this one here, the big one. So, um, by the way, I never draw in detail any of these things, and I'm going to tell you the secret to that is that if you start drawing details, if you start making a detailed drawing of your of what you want to paint, you'll end up doing you'll end up coloring instead of painting. Um, and you'll be very tight and you'll be very um, stressed while painting because it's it's something that is there. It's, it looks beautiful. It's all drawn out perfectly and, and you don't want to spoil it. Um, so what I tend to do is my drawing tends to be as simple as this, okay? It's really straightforward, nothing, no details um, it, it, at all. And that allows me the freedom to change things if I want to when I'm when I'm painting. So this will be my hill in the back there. And again, I mean, I'll, I'll give a few ideas of where I want to go with that. I want it to, to flatten out a bit more at the top, so a bit more rounded. And then I've got a hill in the back here. And I'm going to give it a turn as well. I'm not going to go to a straight line with it. So I've got I've got all the layers that I want here. I've got one, two, three layers. I've got my water. Um, it's a good idea to go ahead and do, for me at least, it's a good idea to go ahead and do the reflection now because I can see it better. And um, I'm just going to do it like this. Eventually, this will all go away. The pencil marks will go away. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to let you um, go ahead and, and take a, a, a screenshot of this as well, if you want to, so that you can have a sort of the drawing. It's not nothing major, no details, but at least you'll have that. So once I'm done with that, once I, I have all of this, what I'll do is I'll take my kneaded eraser, I'll flatten it out in my hand like this, and I'll go ahead and just run it over all of these lines. It's not taking away the lines. What it's taking is any of the um, graphite that's sort of sitting over the picture that I don't need. Um, it's still going to show me almost everything there, but it's going to take away extra graphite, which I, you know, I don't want it in my painting anyway. So here it is. This is what it's going to look like, and we're going to go ahead and start doing washes. And here's the thing with washes. Here's the thing, actually, this is sort of the first notes that I want you to, th to think of. Paper, watercolor paper is made of fibers, right? It's all, if you think about it, it's, it's all like this. It's like, it's like a spaghetti bowl uh, that's been pressed. And when, when you press on these fibers, they flatten and they, they sort of become paper. And I mean, they, they have the texture, but, but, but the actual 
fibers are flattened. Once we put water over it, once we paint, once we do the first wash, what tends to happen is these fibers do this, okay? So you get that situation where you, you put your water, you put your colors on onto the, the paper and and they look fantastic when they're wet. And then when they dry, when this when the paper does this, they tend to get dull. The, 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 what, what, what's happening is a lot of the fibers are showing their tips and those tips are taking away from the color because they're white essentially and they uh, uh, so, so they take away from the color so what we're going to do is we're going to do several layers at least two if not three layers and that's going to cover everything and that's that's what one of the first tricks that you'll you'll see so that's going to cover everything and it's going to make it look much better okay